is matter antimatter asymmetry the cause for the Big Bang, we just talked about it, but could that, I mean, are you gonna make a Big Bang, man? In your, in your, yeah, 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 what are you hiding from it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Astrophysically, it's, it happens much later okay. than the formation of the universe, but you, with your Large Hadron Collider, you are probing the conditions that would have prevailed at the Big Bang itself, or very close to the very beginning. So do you think that this, I'm re-wording this question, that, that this matter-antimatter asymmetry would have mattered before it otherwise mattered astrophysically in the universe? I mean, it's not, we don't really know when the process that broke the symmetry happened. It could have had, so the LHC, as you say, it's kind of recreating the conditions of the Big Bang. And we're probing conditions that existed about a trillionth of a second after time zero, if there was ever such a thing. So that's kind of where we are. And the, there is a possibility that that was the moment. It's all actually related to the Higgs boson. There was this thing that happened about a trillionth of a second into the universe's existence called the called electroweak symmetry breaking, which is basically where the Higgs field which gives mass to the particles that we're made from, switched on for the first time. And that reset the laws of, well, reset the basic ingredients of the universe, set the form of the forces. And it's, it was a sort of a transition, a bit like um, water boiling. It's like a kind of, like a change of state, but a change of state of the vacuum itself. And that, that may have been the moment which created more mass than antimatter. And that's why we're doing, one of the reasons we built the LHC is to recreate those conditions to see if we see that process happening.